So I had a question in the comments. Someone asked me, you know, that they'd love to hear about my pricing. Most people freak out if they mention a thousand euros for four sessions, um, you know, and how to target the people who can afford it, right? And that's really, really important. So the first thing I want you to understand, and I'm, I'm giving you this in the order that I had to do it so that I know that if you apply these things, it will work out for you because I'm living proof that it worked out for me, okay? This is very basic business and self-confidence and self-esteem stuff. I want you to understand that, okay, not even understand, you have to convince yourself that a thousand dollars is nothing. A thousand dollars, a thousand euros, whatever it is, is not a lot of money because it's not, right? There's a, a million millionaires out there. There's a lot of people with a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like, and people find a way to spend a thousand dollars on a new TV or a thousand dollars on a new couch. Like people, people find money for the things that they value, right? So now it's about targeting people who value self-development, personal development, and, and their own transformation, right? And, um, you know, I charge what I charge also. So on top of that belief that $1,000 is nothing, I charge what I charge because I also have the following and the, not only forget the experience, like I have the, I have the audience, the following, and, and the brand for it. You know what I mean? And the, the testimonials and the proof. Like I have a laundry list. I'm so behind on uploading testimonials, but... I have the results, right? People know that when they pay me this money, they're getting results. They are finally solving a deep-seated problem that has been bothering them for so long. And they are, con and they are convinced, excuse me, before they pay me, that I'm the person who's going to be able to solve their problem with the solution I'm proposing. So if you've done all the work about finding, you know, the right niche, you know, addressing the right problems, positioning your... your in the right way, like if you're targeting a client that can afford it. Okay, here, okay, so let's backtrack because maybe you haven't done the work, all right? So let's talk about finding clients. 99, I'm going to make a video on this separately, but 99% of hypnosis practitioners and people in the wellness space as a whole, yoga instructors, meditation instructors, all these people, 99% of them fail on their own in business or are broke because they are not structured. They are not clear on who they're targeting. So structure and clarity. It should say in your bio who you are targeting and what you are helping them with. And in the who, you should be targeting people who more than likely can afford your service, right? Saying that you are targeting, let's say, entrepreneurs is not enough because there are more struggling entrepreneurs out there than there are successful entrepreneurs. The ratio is probably a thousand to one, right? Let's, I use a, a basic example of lawyers because there's so many, there's a lot of lawyers with a lot of money. You should be targeting clients who more than likely can afford it. So that, may, that already solves half your problem right there. I offer hypnotherapy for lawyers to resolve smoking addiction, right? So the hypnotherapy or hypnosis for who and for what deep-seated problem. So first is the client. Second, you have to address a deep-seated problem because for you to price your, th your offering at a high price point, which is not even high, by the way, a thousand, three thousand, five thousand is not high. For you to price it at that point, it has to solve a deep-seated problem that they have, not a problem you think they have, but a problem they actually have. No, nope, like, so saying you want to solve confidence issues for entrepreneurs or lawyers might not be enough. Like, look at problems that affect these three areas, their finances, their health, and their love slash relationships, one of those three areas. This is why dating coaches, there's such a market or financial planners, there's such a market or personal trainers, there will always be a market. Finance, health and love slash relationships. Okay. So your offering should be targeting one of those three areas for a client that more likely, more likely can afford it. Start with the end for the client, start with an industry like legal, or finance, and then pick a position in that industry, investment bankers or lawyers, and then pick the, the deep-seated issue that they might have. If you don't know what you should be targeting or who, look at who you used to be in a past life. For myself, I used to be, I, I bounced around in different careers, but I was, I was in a high-stress, high-performance career. Therefore, I target high, but I was also paid well in these corporate gigs. So I target high performers and high earners. That's a blanket way of saying, people in high corporate positions or high paying corporate positions who want to deal with mental performance 
uh, issues, right? Because, because draw the connection in saying, if you get your mental performance right, you perform better on the job and make more money. See how I drew the connection? I always bring it back to either love, money, or health. Always, I draw the connection back to one of those. Make more money, find your dream partner, or get a six pack, or lose weight, or get in shape. See how I draw that connection? So your position, when we say positioning, that's what we mean by positioning. It has to be that clear, right? And um, after that, it's about talking to as many people as possible. Because hey, although I'm still this clear, I still attract people who can't afford my payments. Like, I still don't close, you know, I close less than half of my, my sales calls, which is pretty standard for like, for any coaching business or any hypnosis or wellness business. Like I, I close less than half, right? But for the people I close, it makes up for it in terms of like a pretty, pretty salary, right? But like you have to now be interacting with enough people. You have to be getting on enough sales calls and stuff like that. Cause if you get on 10 calls, you might close three or four. Now, how do you get in front of these people? This is another video. I'll talk about this in another video, but you gotta get out on socials. I'm sorry. If you don't wanna focus on blowing up, you're gonna have to run ads or you're gonna have to have very, very um, videos and video titles. I'll say this for another video, but, um, cause I'm losing my voice. But everybody wants to get, a, everybody wants to make money, but nobody wants to put in the work to blow up on socials. It's either socials or you cold call people. If I wasn't doing social media at all, I would go cold call HR, like the HR department of every big bank on the financial district in Toronto where I'm and try to do corporate workshops there, right? And get like 20 people and, and charge like 50 or $100 a person, right? So that would be, I don't know, $2,000, I don't know. Someone do the math, but anyway. That is how I would do it. But other than that, it's 2024. There's no, nobody's, nobody's on doors anymore. Your only option is to post on social media and to gain traction and build momentum. And you need to allow yourself the, the needed to gain that traction. And, the, and you can shorten that, you can accelerate that process by just posting more. I want it to blow up so bad. I want it, and I still haven't really blown up yet, but I wanted to make money so bad and I wanted to change my situation so bad and help people so bad that I was willing to post three to five times a day, sometimes seven times a day. And that's just me. And you know, everybody wants to be a successful hypnotist, but I'm very upfront in saying, nobody can pay you unless they know you exist. Are you gonna cold call them? Are you gonna go knock on their door? If not, are you gonna run ads? If not, then you just gotta post organically and just build up traction that way. Post by post by post by post by post. The good thing is that it compounds. It's an asset. It's like investing in the S&P 500, it compounds. One post, then you gain three, five, three fans, and then seven fans, and then 20 fans, and, or supporters, whatever you wanna call them, and it compounds. But anyway, let me know if you guys have any thoughts or questions in the comments. All I ask is that you give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up so we can boost this video in the algorithm. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out, peace.